as partners. It doesn't make any difference, it's gonna be all the same. In fact, I don't even have much time, but I just thought I'll give it a shot and see how it goes. And, um, well, let's see if everything is working. As I always do, I have to just attempt to watch my own video. So far not very successfully, okay, yay, it works. Okay, so the tournament starts in a minute and 40 seconds, 41 seconds, and now we're going to, I'm just gonna play some some bullet for one tournament of bullet and uh, continue with my life uh, and with my plans for conquering the European Championship in uh, about uh, three, a bit less than three weeks from now. So let's see if we have anyone in the chat. In the mid, so far not too many. Not sure if I can see a number. Yeah, five people watching. Not so bad. Not so bad. Respect. Hey, Swall, nineteen. Nice to have you. Let's see if I can. Something I want to also check. Nah. Not even sure. Wanted to see if the YouTube related video actually works. Uh, let me just inform you in the meantime that uh, over here you can see latest devotee. There used to be the last follower, but now there's gonna be the last subscriber uh, on Twitch uh, featured here. And uh, subscriptions, if I'm not wrong, uh, they cost five dollars a month and uh, many people don't know how to press uh, the donation button I, I'm not sure myself but I think it's if you scroll down it's somewhere there uh, I have no idea I'm very new to this entire uh, streaming thing uh, and tournament is gonna start so let's just play and I forgot to join how lovely okay game one let's play French defense, lovely move order. I'm even going to pretend to to commentate. Okay, so just regular moves so far. Everything seems almost normal. I'm playing slowly as usual. The opponent Usually on the first round the opponent is quite strong. I don't know why they do it like this, but I guess there is some sense behind it. Okay. But I feel like from objective point of view I should be better. Because of uh, the opponent f5 is uh, kind of uh, weakening black's position. And he's very aggressive, but I'm not sure if it's justified. <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna grab it. Hmm, very interesting choice. Just giving up a piece and resigned. Good, good start. So my regular goals when playing bullet, especially while streaming myself, is to uh, to just uh, apply the things I've learned with Daniel in the learning from the very beast tutored by the very beast uh, series and uh, another goal that I have is to commentate and probably the last one but not least CD was ridiculous by the way it's not doesn't make much sense um, is to gain rating that's a good indicator for my level and uh, I really want to improve my bullet. I know it sounds a bit silly for some, but it's really a goal for me that I want to improve my bullet skills. Because as a streamer, I think it's gonna be valuable for me to be very good in, at bullet. And um, it's also very fun and so on. So yeah, it doesn't cor correspond with my chess related ambitions uh, from the career point of view, but I also want to stream, so might as well be entertaining and show some skills one day at least I hope so so
So now I feel like an internet bully when I play against low rated players and trick them by threatening mate in one and so on. So nice. So what was my idea? Kind of forgot. I have a feeling he will move the knight again. <laughs> I knew it. Okay. It's actually not mate if, if he... No, this was a bit silly. And d takes c4 was much more precise, but... Okay not worthy to complain in this position. Very strong resistance so far by my lovely opponent. Okay. Nice. So the second goal, as so as mentioned, was to commentate. I'll try to to just mention the random things about the game. And now let's get back to the three advice, three different types of advice that I always try to apply in Bullet, uh, at least since uh, my conversations with Daniel Naroditsky, one of the best Bullet players I've ever seen, and uh, possibly one of the best Bullet players in the world. So according to him, or to the method that we've uh, discussed together, we kind of came up with it uh, on that stream, is that there are three different things we can, uh, we can uh, grant attention in bullet. And of course, assuming you have a relatively high level of chess or bullet skills, regardless to it, because otherwise you just have to focus on playing quickly and uh, w and avoid blundering and so on. So, the first idea was to play quickly and uh, less objectively. And, okay, some people do it anyway, but in my case I tend to be a little bit too objective at times. And uh, I waste time. As you can see, I'm almost always below on the clock in any time control, in Blitz, in Bullet, so... I just think it's a good idea to be a little bit less objective and a bit faster. So the second option, the second advice that Daniel gave was uh, related to having a winning position. He said that when you're having a winning position, it's okay to slow down. Not in this case, but generally when you have a lot of time. So I'll explain more after the time pressure. A little bit annoyed with my oh man bad move with my skills right now okay done so when you have a winning position in about 40 seconds or more then a good idea would be to um, to slow down a bit and play as precisely as possible Oh, I forgot uh, to to change the title. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it as I'm streaming. Sorry about that. Change it afterwards. Um, so anyway, uh, <laughs> I just prepared the, the stream very quickly and forgot about this part. I prepared like ten other things that uh, were not here. Uh, we're not working, but title is something I tend to forget. So, back to my point. Uh, okay, so you can slow down and, uh, and to up to a point where you have a little bit more time. So, let's say when someone has... 25 seconds or less then it's a good idea to to increase the pace again but until then you can afford to think for a second or two per move rather than pre-move and so on just to be more precise and 
and guarantee the win from objective point of view. And the third one, actually this was the third one. Uh, the second one was to to put a lot of emphasis on predicting the opponent's move. So the, the most important uh, skill uh, to improve in bullet is not necessarily your chess or your speed. It's just predicting the moves because no, it doesn't matter how good you are in chess and how fast you are thinking. If you don't predict their moves, it's going to be hard to to respond quickly. So by, by knowing more or less what they're going to threat or anticipating it or knowing your idea for the next move, so you can afford to play quickly. And every second that you, you gain in bullet or that you save, at least according to me, it's, I'm not an authority on the topic, but in my opinion, it's worth three times more than any regular time control. So every second is worth, worth like three seconds. My reasoning is simple. And the second that I, and it's not mathematical it, mathem, any ma, a mathematic reason it's just uh yeah I'm blundering or missing a pawn so it's not a mathematical reason uh it's mainly psychological at least it feels like three seconds and uh the point being that it's not only a second that I don't think. It's also a second where my opponent doesn't think, so you can see why it's like it's worth twice as much. So, if he's thinking, uh, then one sec, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. So, if he's thinking uh, on his time instead of my time, then I'm gaining this time from my clock. And so, say two seconds instead of one is understood, but. The, the more important issue is the psychological pressure that we put on them. Because when they feel like you're playing very quickly and they can't keep up with the pace, they tend to blunder just due, due to the psychological pressure. And then, uh, this is, uh, doesn't have much to do with time, but the way it affects the position will also affect the, the time management later on. So in a sense, if you manage to play twice as fast, it's going, you might be... I'm multiplying your results by six, so to speak. And uh, I don't know if it makes sense uh, to to you as much as it does to me, but uh, I just think that predicting the moves can make a lot of uh, a lot of, uh, of let's say if you predict your move your opponent's moves uh, very effectively or efficiently, I should say, then. It's gonna be much easier to to accomplish what I just uh, mentioned. It's hard for me to multitask. Playing bullet and talking about how to play bullet better when I'm not even that good. <laughs> so, so I'll try to make the point uh, in a, a bit uh, better now because I don't feel like I was really. Uh, explaining it as thoroughly as I would like so let's see hmm. so I was talking about predicting the moves so by predicting the move, it's going to be much easier to, to, whoa, to get your opponent out of uh, sync with the position and achieve all the things I mentioned. So, yeah, it's much more valuable that, than people give it credit for. And Daniel is incredibly good. This is one of his best skills, in mm. my opinion, and also according to him. Uh, just to be able to predict his opponent's moves and re react quickly. So, let's see. What am I doing? I don't have time. No! Didn't notice the clock. So, yeah, talking and playing is not my best uh, quality. And it's really painful in these kind of tournaments because then I lose the flame. And... Uh, had I won, I think I would 
have shared the lead. So time to make up for it by focusing. Hopefully the advice I gave was uh, at least sounded decent and now I'll try to focus on applying it rather than talking about it. So just a quick thing I'd like to mention about predicting the opponent's moves. Something that I, I notice Daniel is doing very often is pre-moving things that are safe. So a good example was when I pre-moved h4, h5 earlier. It would only have worked if my opponent uh, played g h4. h takes g4. So in that, only in that case that pre-move would have uh, been played. So it was a safe pre-move. Daniel very rarely plays pre-moves that are extremely risky. So this is kind of a skill that's important to develop. So you see queen takes d3 was a safe pre-move. It's, it's not too relevant for chess, but for bullet it can do a major difference. So queen g6, another example of a safe pre-move. Okay, so let's see. The chat if anyone complains usually in the first few minutes of a stream people mention that if something is wrong okay so Oh, and I forgot that one of the goals in general when playing chess on any tournament, if there is still a theoretical chance, then it is to win the tournament. One of the sportive things chess players like to do. So, hopefully I'll achieve the other three as I attempt to win the tournament without distracting myself too much. Seems to me like when I talk a lot, it it harms my my results. And according to uh, what I asked my my viewers on the YouTube channel, many people prefer to see me winning than to hear me explaining everything. So, and I would definitely prefer to 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 win. So I should probably do it uh, more often. Bishop c5 to check was a much better move. Um, avoiding knight h5 I'm going to bring the king over and now just start pushing the pawns I'm not even gonna grab the rook so quickly because he's so paralyzed I can just bring the king I mean, of course, after rook b8, a7, a8 is working, but <laughs> I just wanted to enjoy a bit longer. So, alright, I'm still in the game. Still only four points behind, probably eight if we count the fact that he is gonna yeah, just win another game sooner or later. I need to play against this William NM and beat him. That's my best chance. So now, without talking too much about it, I'll try to apply what I mentioned earlier. And I'll just mention if and when I'm predicting something or doing something like slowing down. So you can see it better for yourselves. I'm threading d4 and win a piece and uh, I don't think he saw it because he allows it in a different way but 
it's the same. So D takes C3 is a safe pre-move, as far as I could tell, so it worked. And this is one of those examples I gave where it, I think it's worth more than uh, one second where you predict a move. So, alright, so I'm back in the game. Still has the flame. Oh, he lost the game, that's why I managed to to get back on track with him. So both have 28, he probably has one, is gonna w finish his game before me, but still have some chance to, to win the tournament. And uh, Let me know by the way in the chat, if or in the comments later on, if you think I should put music while streaming. I like the idea of uh, focusing on the game. And uh, just uh, trying to play the best moves possible, even if it's bullet. And uh, I can try to be educational, as you can see, and I think it might be more valuable than having some party music. Okay, queen f4 is the move. Okay, he's 2500, so he should see such things. And now I don't have a place for the rook, so fortunately I can get the bishop out. And now bring the king over. I think it's winning, I just have to be precise. He doesn't want to exchange, that's good. Mm, let's put the bishop somewhere. Somewhere positive. F5, yes, the bishop is mine. I think his position is very close to lost, I just have to avoid being too slow. escape I'm too slow and I lost oh no he has pawns okay I uh, this was probably the worst experience I've had in a long time bullet wise it was hard to to make the shift in my mind to concentrate but no more excuses let's focus there are still some theoretical chances I guess but I'm very disappointed from what just happened. was really painful to lose like this. I need to forget. In bullet it's very important not to not to tilt and to be able to recover somehow mentally. This is one of those things that's the most difficult to do. Okay, he just wants to mate me. Nothing special. Queen H6 is coming next. Good game. Oh, I'm so so disappointed. Probably, yeah. There is no much chance left. But I really forgot to pre-move at the end. There, I had like I don't know five seconds in this. 
pawn ending where I had the queen up <laughs> and the bishop and I just forgot I was supposed to pre-move. I thought it's better to find the most precise way. doesn't work. My position is not very tempting by any means. But I will survive. And do my best. Queen d4 is almost mate. I have to avoid his, his idea for one more move. And mating one. Okay, good job. So, guarantee the second spot, but the first place is gonna be hard to achieve. Let's try to berserk maybe. Hope I get some weak opponent, but don't think it's very likely. Um, no. I'm not berserking against this guy. At least I hope I'll get my revenge. Interesting. Tricked my lovely opponent. Now it's a matter of speed and technique, probably. Full rook. Okay, got him. Oh, and it was after the tournament finished, but still. Second spot, not too bad, not too good. Um, we have a m more than 100 viewers, that's not too bad for such a quick notice, or short notice. And, um, well, I'm gonna do much more of these, and hopefully the other eight members of Chess Juice will uh, be... Uh, as inspired as I am right now and as excited as I am about uh, the newly acquired uh, partnership and um, yeah second spot congrats to William NM 
and uh, I did gain 45 rating points. I did kind of explain a few things and kind of uh, attempted, I guess, to perform the Daniel's advice. So I would say that my bullet skills are on a slow positive trend. And uh, yeah, with this, I'll conclude this lovely stream. Let me know if you want to have some music in the background at some point and uh, yeah and as, as I mentioned uh, in the YouTube uh, video that I uploaded just uh, like a minute before this stream uh, the first 10 subscribers will receive a very cool uh, patreon related reward I won't say exactly which but it's worth more than five dollars definitely costs more than five dollars but I think it's worth much more so and of course you get all the regular Twitch uh, related uh, uh, benefits, which I'm not even sure what they are, but uh, something to do with with uh, commercials and emoticons and uh, supporting us on top of other things that uh, I still need to learn. So I'll check the chat really quickly and then see what we can do. Yeah, I will rise to 2500 Vin Vin, uh, but not on this stream. I'll attempt to ri to rise even to 2700 uh, sooner or later. So, thanks, uh, Chuggle Rocks. And uh, I'll see you all later on in the coming streams. So, once again, hope you enjoyed watching this stream or at least learned something from it. And if you want to learn some more, then keep watching the, the next streamios.